I know where there's some, right here in the hall clerk. No, no, my I have a Hi, welcome back. It's time to uh, do the final assembly on this GE <coughs> 514 clock radio. We've got the clock repaired. We've got all the electrolytics replaced, some of the resistors, most of the resistors actually. Uh, rewired it back to have the correct output tube, the 50C5 as opposed to the 50B5. And it's ready to go back together, back into the case. So let's get started. Did you ever try to go to sleep at night with your husband propped up in bed reading a mystery story out loud? <laughs> well, let your heart bleed for Mrs. McGee of Fibber McGee and Molly. As a shot whined through the darkness and four more victims fell to the masked monster, Hemingway Savage, the great detective... Oh, McGee. Let's turn off the light now, will you, dearie? Hmm? I want to get some sleep. Oh, you go ahead and sleep, Tootsie. Don't worry about me. I want to finish this book. The Case of the Mixed-Up Monster. <laughs> you go to sleep. How can I go to sleep with you reading it to me? I'm not reading it to you, Molly. I'm reading it to myself. I like to read mysteries out loud on account of because I can follow the story better when I can hear it. <laughs> And what a story this is. Listen. At the sound of the shot, Savage bounded up the ladder, bounded across the roof, and bounded through the skylight. Sounds like a real bounder. <laughs> it says, dashing into the lobby, Hemingway Savage opened the door of the phone booth and made a grisly discovery. Grizzly? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me there was a bear in the phone book. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and that's the gimmick, kiddo. The masked monster was a trained bear, see, that his master had taught him how to handle a gun, see? Only he keeps shooting all the wrong people till finally he gets his master in the end. <laughs> well, all that can be painful. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was no surprise for me who done it. I'm quick on deductions. I got what you might call a deductible mind. <laughs> I'd make a great detective. All right, Sherlock. Give us a demonstration. Hmm? Let's see you follow the trail to the window. What? Deduce how far you should raise it to get some air and then shadow yourself back to the bed. <laughs> Do we have to raise a window, Molly? There's snow on the ground tonight, kiddo. You know, snow. My gosh, in the morning we'll be froze solid side by side like two long ice cubes in a thread. <laughs> Now, it's not that tall. The snow's half melted already. Now, go on. We need some air in this room. Uh, okay. Well, if I'm froze in the morning, I don't... Hey. Hey, Molly. Come over to the window. Hurry up. There's a fellow across the street watching this house. Oh, McGee, you've had too much Hemingway Savage. Now, let me see. <laughs> see? He's right over there behind that tree. You can see his shoulder and the brim of his hat sticking out. Heavenly days, McGee, you're right. Boy. He's there, spying on our house. Probably a burglar casing the joint. Oh, will he be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> that silly optimist. Turn out the light, quick, Molly. Well, now, here's your chance to use that detective instinct. Huh? What would Hemingway Savage do? Oh, I don't know what he'd do, but I know what I'm going to do. Maybe you should call the police. McGee, I said maybe you should... McGee, get your head out from under the covers. <laughs> McGee, your lunch is ready. Oh, there you are, Gary. Yeah, boy, oh boy, have I got news. You remember that prowler last night? Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. Well, that. I didn't forget it, kiddo. And as soon as I got a chance, around noon... <laughs> I went right over there to see if he left any clues. Did you find footprints? No, the snow's all melted, so there wasn't any footprints. But look at this. His hat. Uh-oh. Yeah, he must have got scared when he seen we seen him, and he dropped it. Dropped his hat. Here. Look, his name's inside in it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> see it? Sure. Hector Howell. Hector Howell. You know that sounds familiar, McGee? Well, it ought to. Hector Howell is the guy which moved across the street next to more troops a month ago, and which I figured ever since he's been there was as phony as a mustache on the Venus of Milo. 
Why, of course, our new neighbor. You betcha. But why should he be spying on us? Because he thinks I'm on to his secret. What secret? Well, I ain't sure yet, but he's got one. <laughs> when he first moved in, I went over there and I borrowed his head clippers and he pretended to be a real neighbor. I see. Yeah, and then an hour later I went over and borrowed his garden rake and he wasn't quite so friendly. A little standoffish, huh? Yeah. Then an hour after that, I went over and borrowed his hose, and he gave himself away completely that time. Told me to stay on my own side of the street. That guy's hiding something, kiddo. Probably his lawnmower. <laughs> if I'd have made any more trips, he'd have even been more suspicious. Lucky I never took any of them things back. <laughs> What do you think his secret could be? I don't know. He might be a spy or a counterfeiter or the guy that sells hot rhinestones. <laughs> hot rhinestones, that was. <laughs> but whatever he is, I'll find out. Oh, dearie. Well, remember a couple of weeks ago I got a package in the mail? Yes, and you hid it from me, too. Yeah, well, you know what that was? What? That was a little dandy Dick Chasem detective kit. <laughs> yes, sir. Which I sent away for to a little dandy Dick Chasem. It includes ten complete disguises, a magnifying glass, and the address of a man in Little Rock, Arkansas, where you can buy a bloodhound. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless his little heart. He didn't tell me because he thought I'd make fun of him. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and you would have, too. <laughs> now I can use them disguises and find out what Hector Howell's secret is. I'll follow that guy. Come in. Well, hello, Mr. Oldtimer. Hi, daughter. Hello there, Johnny. <laughs> Hi, old timer. You're just in time to hear about the big excitement, boy. I'm going to track down a dangerous criminal. I figure he's a spy or maybe a counterfeiter. Funny you should mention that, Johnny. One of my best friends was a counterfeiter. Yeah? Her name to Wally. Well, it can't be the same one. This yes, guy... sir. Wally used to say to us, boys, he used to say to us, yeah. someday I'm going to make a lot of money. Hmm. We never suspected he was going to make it out of lead slugs, tin pie plates, and wrapping paper. <laughs> Was he a success in the racket? One of the best, Johnny. Yeah. Started out in a small way making nickels. At first, he didn't do so good. What was the trouble? Made the nickels out of dimes, daughter. <laughs> Took three dimes to make one nickel, and that cut down his margin of profit. <laughs> no, he was a real smart operator. Oh, but he caught on fast. You've heard folded money referred to as the long green? Sure. Well, he made the longest green you ever saw. <laughs> Dollar bills more than a foot long. <laughs> Only took two of them to make a bankroll. <laughs> Did the cops ever get on to Wally? Oh, that's the sad part of my tale, Johnny. Yeah? The long dollar bills were such a success that he got drunk with power. Oh, sure. Branched out with a special item that caught the eye of the law, and they drug him away. What was the special item? Well... You know, a $5 bill has got Abraham Lincoln's picture on it. Yes. And a $10 bill has got Alexander Hamilton on it. So I've heard. Well, he made a $15 bill with Lincoln sitting in Hamilton's lap. <laughs> Billy Mills in the orchestra and Jalousy.
that calling for the destruction of not only our best vision centers. Recently, a customer told me their vehicle had been repaired at an insurance body shop. After repairs, free estimate from Debella. You'll have a fantastic customer service experience, and Debella has more than 15... All right. We got ourselves a clock radio from General Electric, early 50s. Um, a GE514. And that's it. I'll fix that. I'll find a couple of things to put on the back up here. Either screws or... I'll take a search and see if I can find the plastic plugs, but I doubt they're available. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching. It's been a long time, I know, so appreciate it. See you next time.